Good morning and welcome to ITV where we start the week with Good Morning Britain. Good morning, Britain, and you're waking up to blue skies and sunshine on what's set to be the hottest early May bank holiday on record. We're live across the UK with temperatures set to soar into the high 20s. In other news this morning, two dead and three injured, including a 13-year-old boy blasted in the head with a shotgun in a spate of shootings and stabbings across the capital and home counties. And we'll have the latest from Salford Royal Hospital where Sir Alex Ferguson remains in intensive care following emergency surgery for a brain hemorrhage. Former Coronation Street star Nigel Pivaro joins us to talk about a nationwide tour with a difference as he investigates the impact of Brexit on Britain's fishing communities. And Victoria Pendleton is here just days after being evacuated off Mount Everest where she nearly died from altitude sickness. Monday, 7th of May, 2018. Live from ITV Studios in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Kate Garraway and Ranveer Singh. Hello, a very good morning to you. Do not adjust your sets. You're not wearing a trouser suit and it's a really hot Maybank holiday Monday. I'm yeah. I'm confused on all counts. Because I do like a trouser suit. You love a trouser I? suit. I know. I've actually broken out the skirts <laughs> yeah. for the bank. So share us your sunny pictures with us on Facebook, uh, wow. Twitter or email. GMB at ITV.com. That is Bristol looking absolutely gorgeous. It looks like the Riviera. It yeah. could be can. It looks absolutely be beautiful. Right. We're all around. We're in Kew Gardens, aren't we? Laura's there for us this morning. Yes. A very special bit of Kew Gardens, aren't you, Laura? Uh -huh. Yes, this is the Temperate House. It opened last week. You'd have seen all the press with Sir David Attenborough here. Even our lovely Ben Shepherd was here. It has had a huge restoration project. They've had 180 kilometres of scaffolding. That's enough to stretch all the way round the M25. 15,000 glass panels have been replaced and there are over 10 thousand plants in here you literally could spend days in here and see something new every single time the sun is coming up here and it is absolutely beautiful in here this morning and actually up and down the country temperatures are way above average there is a good chance today we could get to 29 degrees and if we do it would make it yes the warmest bank holiday weekend in early may that we have ever seen so yes get out everybody but don't forget to wear the sun cream because you will need it otherwise you will turn into a lobster later we certainly will. And listen, Laura, I, I was curious to read that this heat wave is coming from the same place mm. as the beast from the east, which was horrible. Yes, uh, just in case you're wondering, this is the uh, windows open, if you can hear a weird noise behind me here. Uh, yes, it's a massive difference this time of year where the wind comes from, but it was the cold left over from winter when we had the beast from the east just about a month ago that brought all the sub-zero temperatures and the cold and also a delay to things like the onset of bluebells. But now that we've had things warming up in the near continent, dragging in warmer and warmer air, amazingly, we are actually warmer than many European destinations, despite the easterly wind that a short time ago actually made it cold. Ooh. Strange thing, the weather, isn't it? It's good job we have an expert it? on hand to explain Laura. these matters properly. And we're not complaining because it's nice now. Oh, it's absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Thanks, Gorgeous. Laura. Thanks Thank very you. much indeed. So on to our main news of the morning. Extra police are being deployed in...